Okay, hey guys, this is um, a glitch theory on Halo 3 that I've been wanting to get done for a while. I've attempted it myself, but I didn't have anybody that is good enough to do it, so I hope any really good, like, glitching people on Halo 3 could possibly get this done. You need three to four players. <clears throat> you will need a gravity hammer, a fuel rod gun, an, an equipment that allows you to cover jump. Explosive weapons such as grenades, brute shots. You only need one thing to cover jump with, so flare, power drain, deployable cover, whatever you can use. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> you will need a deployable cover anyways, so if you choose deployable cover, you're going to need another one. <clears throat> you're going to need tilt and mythic on. Now tilt and cowbell on, and possibly catch, because you're going to need grenades, <clears throat> and you're going to need an invincibility if I didn't say that already, <clears throat> and gravity hammer. So if I left anything out, I will put it in the description and the annotations. So um, I hope this gets done, and I will just play through the rest of it, explaining things on the way. And I'm going to turn on some Halo music. <clears throat> I'm playing on easy, by the way. Here we go. That didn't happen. Okay. Crap. Why do I have an inclination to do that? Yeah, don't waste your grenade. Okay, maybe spike grenades. <clears throat> For the fuel rod brood, I would suggest having a flare, which luckily I have. Oh, that's a lot of damage for easy. Hell of a lot. Now, if anybody knows General Kid, he said that he was trying to find a way to do this, but he never found a way. <clears throat> At least to my knowledge. If he did, <clears throat> I apologize for redoing a theory and probably making it ten times harder than it actually is. ODSTs. Definitely gonna need a ghost. Because this is using the forward and time glitch on the tower. Of course, that glitch is very well known. Don't know who found it. I saw it on General Kid's video. I think. Okay, this time I'm actually being smart. Okay, maybe not smart and um, skillful. Okay, fine, you're just gonna die, okay? Go away, please. You could use cloaking, it make makes the chieftain easier. Crap! Use the flare. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
I have catch on. Oh god. And he had to use his invincibility. Two for one. And deployable cover. I need that. Oh yeah. Oops. <laughs> just a, this is just a demonstration. Um, I'm not actually going to do it. You can't do it with one person. <laughs> Oh, look, they did all the work for me. Crap, where's a ghost at? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way then. Floating branch. Could have sworn that would have made it. I forgot that that kills you. Okay, I completely forgot that you're probably supposed to use a warthog, so. Yelled at them. Come on, dogs. I'm I'm very sorry about the dogs. I really am. Okay. No. Yeah, that would have been. That's pretty obvious. so much faster if I had a ghost. There we go. <laughs> now, the the thing that makes this hard is the fact that you don't get a checkpoint after this. I have gotten a checkpoint after this, but delaying it to where it would actually be a tolerable thing, I've never found. Oh no, don't, 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 don't. Hold back, or die. Okay, unlike last time, I'm not going to die. Just make sure not to slide and that you're pretty far back and just hold backwards. There 
and hopefully I'm not gonna die this time. There we go. We just kind of walk over here. Now, if anybody remembers, this place is kill planes, death barriers, whatever you want to call them. Everywhere. Yeah, I've got never forget on my 360 as well. It's been so long since I've even done this. Jeez, just think about the amount of uh, effort that went into making a structure like that. Um, I'm talking about the game, not the... Uh, not the thing. There was a certain spot, it was like right around here, and then you had to land down there. Um, you have to actually jump off of something like maybe right there. You can use a brute shot, aiming backwards, um, to give you an extra push, and then you do a cover jump to land down there. Now, the tr another tricky part is you have to have people die to catch their equipment. And that's hard as hell. But it's the only way to get the equipment down there. And then you are to go all the way up to where you can do see Microsoft Sam. Here, Microsoft Sam, which is about right there. About right up there. And then you have to launch onto the top. There's a loading zone somewhere around there, and you can actually you can actually load inside of the citadel. This is the part that requires more than one player because one the player that gets loaded in will get stuck. That is an absolution. Okay. Let's see if I remember this at all. I'm not gonna make it. That's the fastest I've done it. I could see this being done in eight minutes at best. I wonder if that would be really good for a speed run.
because I was unable to do the drop down, especially because of that checkpoint from like way back there, I just decided to go through. And I'll just show you the rest from the end of the level. I wonder if I could jack that banshee. I don't have any explosive weapons, but I'll show you the setup anyways. I wonder if this was the right way. Yes, it is. It is a very far walk. Here's where you place the deployable cover. You either... I don't, I'm not sure which way is best. I would assume it's this way so you could get on it. Where did... Hmm... Stupid deployable cover. Okay. Here we go. Spartan, come to me! This platform lies the path. Chief, Spark has found a way into the Citadel. He's waiting for you on the platform, Chief. Go! Okay, so it's best to do it on this side then. Make sure that the two people that are going to be on this thing are behind that. You probably want to place it right here instead of right there. Possibly even at an angle so that way you could have a more direct way of getting up there. You're going to have want to have uh, one to two people on top of that. And the person with the gravity hammer on top, of course. The person on the bottom having a fuel rod gun. So that way they can shoot at him. And then the brute shot guys behind here, possibly shooting him up as well. And then use the invincibility. And then fire away. Get up there. Okay, if you did the launch correctly, you would land up here. And I found out about where the loading zone is. Oh god, the dog is whining again. Shut up, please. Okay, now, you see that there's a big line, like right about here. The loading zone is five big lines past this one. So one, two, three, four. The loading zone is right about here. So you are to drop down about here. And then just make sure that they are that your other guys are prepared to drop inside of the citadel. And then, just from there, you just go all the way back to the beginning of where the Citadel place is. And then you load the Flood and the enemies, and you just complete the mission from there. Uh, that's the glitch theory. It's very... I've never done it, because I've never had somebody good enough to do it, as I said before. 
um, and I'm probably not even good enough to do it myself. So thanks for watching, and I hope I hope something comes out of this. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. What the hell just happened? Uh... What the hell?